In September 2022, two researchers led an expedition to Ferguson Island in Papua New Guinea after hearing rumors about a bird that hadn't been seen in 140 years. Side arrow. Doka. 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 What is this? It's it. It's it's owl. Isn't it owl? We can't tell. We can't tell them. We have to have them look through the the photo too. Thing. Hey, we did it. Holy <laughs> man. <laughs> It's like finding a unicorn, said the researchers, as they couldn't contain their excitement over this massive discovery. They'd finally done it. The black-naped pheasant pigeon was back from extinction. Man, this is the happiest what the ever. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna display back. Man! It might look such a in I can't believe it. <sighs> the night parrot was one of the three Australian ground parrot species that had been extinct for over a hundred years, but in April 2015, everything changed. I'm so happy it's going here. Yeah. Dr. Steve Murray had done the unthinkable. He'd found a living night parrot, studied it, and released it into the wild without poachers getting their hands on it. Not many people know about the Greenland shark because it's a creature from another era. Some might say it's prehistoric, yet it continues to live deep near the ocean floor. So very few people know about it. The scientists tell you that it's probably one of the largest populations of sharks on the planet because there's no real commercial fishery on it. And they live so deep, so nobody really comes in contact with it. The Greenland shark is known to live up to 200 years old. So you know, imagine if they could talk. <laughs> what knowledge they would have. Uh, the other bizarre thing is there's these parasitic worms that actually somehow find the shark in the water column. Not only do these sharks have an extra gill, but they're also mostly blind because of parasitic worms that latch onto their eyes. But since the deep ocean doesn't get light, they're perfectly fine without sight. All the way up to the eyeball of the shark, and then they latch onto it, and then they spend their entire lives on the eye, and they feed off the tissue of the eye. This renders the shark blind. However, the shark doesn't need to really see in order to feed because it lives in dark, deep waters anyhow, and it has an incredible sense of smell. In July 2023, fishermen in Louisiana spotted something remarkable during a fishing trip near the coast. And for a second, they couldn't believe their eyes because they weren't just looking at any other fish. They were looking at an actual pink dolphin. German zoologist Alfred Völzkow was the last to see the chameleon species that was eventually named after him in 1893. But over a hundred years later, Völzkow's chameleon was rediscovered. That night, the moment the team had been hoping for finally happened. The excellent Malagasy guide Angeluc found the first specimen of the lost species Versifer Völzkowi. He first found a female. Females of the species have never been seen before. When stressed, they show a beautiful black-white pattern and two to three red dots along their flank. However, even more impressive about this discovery in 2018 was that not even Voltzkow could find a female specimen. So this was uncharted territory for everyone.
The 70s was the last time anyone found New Guinea singing dogs in the wild, and other than the ones preserved in zoos, the rare species was thought to have been extinct for over 50 years until now. The breakthrough happened in 2016, when researchers spotted the descendants of these yodeling dogs among a pack of highland wild dogs in Indonesia. The canines can produce a harmonic sound that has been compared to the calls of a humpback whale. Although around 200 singing dogs, descendants of the ones captured in the 1970s, are living in conservation centers or zoos, the breed had not been seen in the wild for 50 years. In New Caledonia, a group of researchers stumbled upon arguably the rarest lizard in the world, the terror stink, which was thought to be extinct until 2002. So this skink is the top predator here on this island in New Caledonia. There's no doubt that this guy is the T-Rex of this island. He fills the same ecological niche as the lions of the Serengeti. He is the top predator, but look at this. Something bit this guy's tail could be another Phobos skinctus, or there could be something else out here that is the top predator. That the little lizard lives up to its name too, as it's not only a meat eater, but also at the top of the food chain in its habitat, making it extremely deadly. Skinks have needle-like teeth. This guy has teeth that are flat and serrated, and they point backwards, just like a shark. This guy is well-equipped to be not only the top predator on this island, but to be a meat eater. He's probably hunting baby lychees as his primary food. <sighs> and we have no idea how common these are here. We have no idea what the population is here. In the early 20th century, Lord Howe Island was full of massive stink bugs until black rats arrived on the scene and ate them to extinction by 1920. But over 80 years later, in 2001, they were back. The Lord Howe Island stick insect was thought to be extinct for more than 80 years after the trade ship SS Macambo wrecked on Lord Howe Island, introducing rats to the environment. The rats were believed then to have eaten the insect into extinction. Then in 2001 it was rediscovered on Ball's Pyramid, a rat-free volcanic outcrop 23 kilometres away. Two years later, two breeding pairs were brought to Melbourne Zoo where researchers embarked on a romantic breeding program. Ever since, research teams across the globe have been breeding these stink bugs, hoping to reintroduce them to their natural habitat once again. Boxes will have them in. All right. If we only had one box in there, like if this was the only box in there, the 200 of them would be in here. It would yeah. just be a, a mass of animals. And they're, well, you've brought them back from the dead. Yep. And presumably they are, they are now safe, perfectly safe, unless someone convinces the Chinese that they're an aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> the climax to this fascinating story story lies in the hope that the Lord Howe stick insect will ultimately be reintroduced to its natural environment. A species of gecko, native to southern Caledonia, was declared extinct by researchers in the 19th century, but a German expedition reached a breakthrough over a hundred years later. Corylophus ciliatus was first described in 1866 by Guichenet, but in 1883 Boulanger classified it in the genus Racodactylus. For more than a century, the species was no longer spotted, and Bauer and Sadlier labelled it as probably extinct. Corylophus ciliatus was only known from 16 specimens which were found on Grand Terre at the end of the 19th century. The fabled crested gecko was rediscovered in 1994, and while it's not endangered anymore, this fascinating creature is still extremely rare in the wild. Yes but several searches for the species in the wider Numia area failed. Rumors of a sighting of the crested gecko on the Isle of Pines after a severe storm on the Isle of Pines triggered the German herpetologist Willy Henkel and his team to search the island in 1994. Several specimens were found, and after almost a century, it was established that the gecko was not extinct. In 2023, people in Bolivia were on a wildlife watching tour at Caia National Park when they had the most incredible encounter. They just spotted one of the planet's rarest mammals right before them, the Chacoan peccary.
Finding an extinct animal in the wild is one thing, but these folks captured something even more mind-blowing, a mythical creature that, according to many, doesn't exist. The massive dinosaur-like creature floats just under the water's surface, and while it appears to be a whale, people say this thing is none other than the legendary Loch Ness Monster. In 2019, a team of researchers placed remote cameras in Laikipia County, Kenya, after hearing rumors about the existence of a rare mountain lion. And after re-watching the footage, the suspicions were confirmed. They'd finally found the elusive beast, the black leopard. Speaking of rare mammals, here's yet another fascinating creature that may look like a rat from behind, but when you look closely, it's something completely different. With its large snout and long toes, the venomous Solenodon is one of the strangest animals in the wild. Only two surviving species are found near Cuba. For decades, scientists have been confused by a strange whale species that resembles a bride's whale, but is not quite the same. This was not Bride's Whale, but a new species called Omura's Whale. Moreover, this big boy is more closely related to the Blue Whale. Bermuda's national bird, the Bermuda petrel, was considered extinct for 300 years, but everything changed in 1951 when 18 nesting pairs of the rare seabirds were discovered. This saved them from extinction and made them a Lazarus species. For centuries, scientists thought the mountain lions in the islands of Borneo and Sumatra were just clouded leopards, but in 2006, they realized this was a whole new species. These big cats had different spots and teeth compared to their cousins, and this is the first publicly released video footage of the newly discovered Borneo clouded leopard.
Imagine you're out on holiday, driving around Big Sur, when you're stopped by an endangered bird having a quick meal right in the middle of the road, because that's exactly what happened to these folks who encountered the elusive California condor. Much like many other ground birds, the Guam rail is also extinct in the wild, but that doesn't mean it's completely gone. Luckily, San Diego Zoo has some of these shy birds and is trying to reintroduce them on Rota Island near Guam. In 2016, researchers set up camera traps on a remote island in West Papua and found one of Indonesia's least known and most elusive bird species, the Waijo brush turkey. At the turn of the 21st century, the bird was already classified as a vulnerable species, but with a rapidly declining population, it was later elevated to endangered status. In November 2023, people at a Florida theme park and wildlife preserve experienced something remarkable, the birth of a rare white American alligator. A rare white alligator was born in a Florida park. Measuring 19.2 inches long, this baby alligator is making history just by being born. She's a leucistic alligator, best characterized by their translucent white skin and blue eyes. Mark McHugh, president and CEO of Gatorland, explains. So leucistic alligators are, are unique and different from albino alligators. Now there was 18 of these brothers were born in the swamps of Louisiana back in 1980s. The baby alligator made waves across the internet because while albino alligators are fairly common, leucistic ones are rare because they lose pigmentation while keeping their normal colored eyes. We brought our veterinarian in. We want to check that baby out, make sure she's in perfect health. Oh, and she was. We looked at her eyes, checked out inside her ears. This little white alligator and her normal colored little brother are just beautiful and feisty little critters. In the wild, the bright color of the leucistic alligator makes the young easy targets for predators, according to the Audubon Nature Institute. In April 2013, some filmmakers were shooting off the course of Ireland when they were stopped dead in their tracks by something they'd never seen before. Initially, they thought they'd just seen a massive whale swim across the water, but as the shadow kept growing as it got closer, their suspicions turned into confirmation. This was no whale. This was the Loch Ness Monster. What is that? The Mariana Trench is home to some of the strangest creatures, yet none may come close to this unidentified shark spotted during a Japanese marine biology study.
With a body covered in scars, this shark has seen its fair share of action during its heyday, but its size is even more terrifying because it's almost 60 feet long. Snow petrels usually snow bath high up in the mountains or fly around icebergs out at sea, so this person was caught off guard when they spotted one casually sitting on the ground. bird that almost looks like a pure white pigeon may not be endangered or extinct, but that doesn't mean it can't surprise people with a visit now and then. Attenborough's long-beaked echidnas were thought to be extinct in the wild by the turn of the century, but in November 2023, researchers made a breakthrough. Um, as far as we're aware, they, with these JR, who is this guy here and his partner Sheila, who's in another exhibit, um, are the only pair in captivity, in the southern hemisphere at least. Um, they've been with us for quite a while, and um, because they're strictly nocturnal, they don't only really come out um, at sundown. Spotted for the first time in 62 years, the echidna was a wild discovery. And while many of them live in zoos, they're still considered critically endangered. Um, they haven't really been on display. They've been out, on, out in outdoor exhibits on display, but they haven't really worked very well because, like I said, they're, they're nocturnal, so most people don't actually see them. The opportunities to see long beaks are few and far between. So the more people who can get to see these guys, because they're just such an amazing animal. Amazing looking and just amazing, and they're the part of the monitoring species. So now we'll have short beaked echidnas, long beaked echidnas, and platypus on display. So we'll have the three species of monitoring. The Great Reed Warbler is one of nature's finest works because these birds are rare to see in the wild and soar up to five kilometers while flying over the Sahara Desert, about as high as it gets for a bird. Remember when a rare black leopard was spotted in Kenya? Well, this one's even better because not only did a British photographer manage to spot one, but he did it multiple times in the wild. There's very little footage of these beasts, but seeing one in the wild is like finding the Holy Grail. Sumatran tigers are arguably the most majestic animals you'll ever see, but despite their greatness, they are reaching extinction.
After the extinction of Bali and Javan tigers, these beasts are the only surviving population in the Sunda Islands. Luckily, work has already started to ensure we don't lose these big cats anytime soon. Also known as the barking deer, muntjacs are in a strange place right now because some species thrive in the wild and others, like the giant muntjac, are critically endangered. The giant muntjac may look deadly thanks to its big antlers, but not only does it get preyed upon by big cats, but it's also being hunted, making survival very hard for it. Seabirds appearing on land is one thing, but the rare brown booby took things to a whole new level because the remarkable bird usually found in Florida or Hawaii was seen in Wyndham, New York for the first time. 